So today in this video, we're gonna be going to do all the quintessential San Francisco things. So, all the touristy things that you can possibly see. We'll show you around our day, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, stop number one, the painted ladies. If you guys are close to my age, you've watched Full House. I mean, I hope you've watched Full House. You can totally remember this scene, this intro scene, every single time the show came. It's awesome. I mean, for lack of a better word, it's freaking awful. I used to watch it growing up, and I can't believe I'm actually standing in front of it right now. There's so much nostalgia in this, but it's such a beautiful view, and I mean, check out this skylight. It's incredible. So we're going to explore a little bit of Alamo Square, and then we're going to head to some other neighbor neighboring... <laughs> We're going to head to some other nearby areas um, and show you a little bit around. But this is our first stop. This is definitely a must-see in my opinion. I don't time. Anyway, um, if you've heard the like best bread book, this is this is the place. So I just got it looks delicious. an almond croissant as big as my face. And I don't even know where to I don't even know where to start. Seven dollars? where we had the most delicious breakfast. We went and saw like a Castro kind of neighborhood that was really pretty. Saw the Castro Theater, which was absolutely incredible. I didn't know they actually still had movies going there. And now we are making our way to the Golden Gate Bridge. We're starting off at the Palace of Fine Arts, which is absolutely beautiful. I feel like I'm in Rome or Greece, somewhere historic. I did not think I'm in San Francisco right now. So. We're gonna walk around here for a little bit and then go to the Golden Gate Bridge and then hopefully make it to the Muir Woods by sunset. I feel like we're in San Francisco. Yeah. I wonder where this came from and why it's here. I know, we need to look that up. <laughs>
you're supposed to just do a small stroll in the woods. <sighs> turned into now a... we're on a three, three mile hike that has about three to five hundred feet of elevation. Which really isn't that bad. No consent to this. Like... I mean, sure. It's also an hour before sunset. So, you know. So, we are in Muir Woods National Park. This is the first time I've ever been here, but it kind of feels like a mini sequoia to me. Like it's giving me sequoia vibes. Obviously, I think some of the trees are, it's not the same tree, but. They're redwoods, trees, I think. They're redwoods and they look fairly similar. So when we went to sequoia, they were like, I mean, they were enormous, but like these trees are, how old did that sign say they were? Um, like 900 AD. So, yeah. so they're quite old. We're gonna race against time. Against the sun. Not against the sun. And also to get a taxi back. Um, Cause this is the middle of a valley and we have no cell phone service. Yeah, we didn't really. Have a phone. <laughs> we didn't have a We're gonna have to use a pay phone to call a taxi and hope they'll come pick us up. And hope we can finish this before dark. If not, we'll be on the next episode of Survivor Man and we'll let you know how it goes. At least we have the camera. We have to survive. We yeah. can record our untimely death. Yeah. <laughs> But, confused, if nothing else. We have officially lost clothing, if that tells you how this is going. In a good way it warmed up. I think we're gonna make it in time. Is it. it is currently, what time is it? 5.50. Sunset is in 20 minutes and we have... But we're on our descent, we're on our way back out. And I uh, did lie to him, it was a thousand feet of elevation in approximately one mile. So I wore skinny jeans and tennis shoes, not knowing what I was getting myself into. He came up with weird. I decided on this hike like 20 minutes before we But it was worth it. I mean, you know, We'll see. You guys agree. So over a mile to go, 20 minutes. We're gonna make. Well, let's hope we get a taxi. Yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the one last thing that we're, you know. Tell me, trees are absolutely insane, and I think. Tell me, we're about to see a dinosaur without telling me we're about to see a dinosaur. Right. The Planet of the Apes was actually filmed here. Was it? Yes. Oh. Uh, which is part that of why sense. I wanted to come. Yeah, man, this is crazy. So, it's like little baby sequoias. We just saw two other people, so we might not die here tonight. We're not the only ones. We're not the only ones left. We can probably outrun them. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Civilization. And we're walking on pavement, and there's a fence. I will say, they did a really good job. I think we're gonna live. Like, it was, the trails are really well made. Yeah, no, they really are. 
Okay, which way do we go now? A or B? Oh, this choices, bridge. choices. We might, we might still die. <laughs> We're literally on the main trail. <sighs> we didn't die. Good news, we did die. And we made it, so now all we have to do is call a taxi and go back to the hotel and maybe get the, some dinner. Hope for the best for the taxi. Hope for the best for the taxi. Yeah. We literally have to use a pay phone, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. My, uh, my phone just says yeah. SOS. Yeah. <laughs> so. so. So yeah, but overall, super fun, definitely a must do if you come to San Fran, just to like kind of get out of the city for a little while. So I'm just like, oh, we did it. And now we just, yeah, go home. Bad news, no taxi. And the gate's closed. This might be our first episode of Naked and Afraid. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's a Chelsea right there. <laughs> she thinks we're gonna die. Because um, this is our current view of the park. Well, we're the only ones left. Well, there's we... no one else here. We poorly planned. Rent a car, okay? Next time, just rent a car. Because now I'm really sketched out about the taxi driver. Yes, if you're coming this way from San Fran, 100% rent a car or arrange something ahead of time. <laughs>